Welcome back, wood turners. In today's project, I'm going to be turning a little lid out of this ash block um, for this cup. Uh, if you guys can see that, that's the International Association of Pen Turners. Um, it's a great organization. Uh, look for them at penturners.org. Uh, there are some amazing artists out there, and uh, I. Uh, always find a lot of inspiration when I'm out on that website. Um, so amazing group of people out there. And uh, uh, so I like to have this cup in my shop and I don't like to get a lot of sawdust in it. Um, so uh, I thought it looked a little bit like a stein. And so we're going to make a little lid for this little stein. So, All right, let's give it a shot. So I've already marked my center and I've scribed the outer circumference of lid and so now we're just going to trim it up. Okay, so this is going to be the top of the lid. And so I'm going to put this screw chuck on here now. This is going to be the underside of the lid, and so I'm going to shape this first. I'm going to put a mortise in here, and then flip it, and then shape the top. That'll do. Okay, I'm going to uh, get this mounted up. And now we're going to clean it up and start shaping. Before I get started, I'm going to be doing the cleanup and shaping with my half inch bowl gouge uh, since the piece is in bowl orientation. And uh, I'm going to use my uh, grinding jig setup for that. for the shaping of the bottom. Now that um, I've got the basic shape of the bottom finished, um, I'm going to sand it up with uh, the grits and um, seal and finish it. All right, so to start finishing, I'm going to move straight to the triple E right on the raw wood, which is what the instructions say here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then move on to the shallow wax. Look at this. I'm going to remove it. 
It's not too bad. I think that finish came out all right. This is going to be the part that fits inside the cup. Let's test that fit. Here's our cup. And here's our lid. Perfect fit. No rattle. So now I just need to take it out of the screw chuck, mount it in the jaws. It's going to be an expansion fit in that recess, and then shape the top. Once we're done with that, we're going to make a little finial. Before I start shaping, this was a 3 16 inch hole to fit my uh, worm chuck, uh, I'm sorry, screw chuck. And now um, I've got to make this quarter inch to fit the finial that's going to go in here at the end. So I've chucked up a quarter inch drill in my right angle drill. It's unpowered and I'm going to advance that here um, to the depth that I need for that hole. Okay, so now I'm going to move to the shaping. Um, again, this is set up just like the bottom side of a bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and do a shaping on here. And um, then we'll move on to the finishing. I'm going to use my half inch bowl gouge for this. Guys, this is something of the final shape that I wanted to uh, show you guys I'm going for. There's kind of a bead up there on top. Um, I'm not sure, let's see if I can orient this. I get to sit on the cup. There we go. So I'm going to put another couple of details in here and then sand it and finish it. Details. I'm going to use my detailer to put in a couple of lines because I'm going to do a little bit of uh, some burning, wire burning. And uh, then uh, I might do that to the finial too. We'll have to see. Okay, for the wire burning, I made myself a set these wire burners. Okay. Uh, give the credit to this to Captain Eddie Castlin. He um, uh, talked about using some of this craft wire from Michael's, uh, the Arts and Crafts Supply Store. And this is, um, well, also the wooden balls come from Mar Michael's as well. This is a stainless steel wire. And uh, I've been using the heck out of it. Um, it doesn't break, it does a good job, it heats up pretty quickly, and um, so that's what we're going to do today. Alright, there we are. Just enough to give it a little bit of uh, decoration. Now I'm going to sand it and finish. Trip 
maple leaf and the uh, shuttle wax. too bad. That's the little profile. Let's see how that looks on the cup. No finial yet, but we'll get there. Okay, there it is. There's the lid. Pretty nice little fit on there. Certainly keep the dust out. Hopefully, uh, it's a credit to my German heritage. So, um, all I'm going to do now is uh, make a finial. And we'll finish that up. Well, I found a little piece of uh, pen blank off cut. I believe this is a piece of Badook, so uh, we'll use this again on another project, but uh, this one's going to become the finial for that cup. I'm going to start by shaping the tip of the finial, and then I'm going to move toward the base and ultimately sand it up, finish it, and part it off. Okay guys, you can kind of see the shape of the finial that I'm going for. I'm not going to make it ultra delicate because it would just be uh, too fragile for everyday use. So now I'm just going to finish it and then part it off. All right, guys, there it is. There's a little preview of the finished item. The finial just sits right on top of the lid like that. And I will um, just now epoxy that in place. So that is a nice little uh, preventative from uh, sawdust getting in my coffee cup. And uh, a little reminiscent of a lid on a stein. Oh, there it is, guys. There's the lid. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you liked, uh, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Also, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, um, there's a bunch of really good uh, turners and other woodworkers that I keep track of through subscriptions. Please go check them out. Um, as I mentioned before, this uh, International, International Association of Pen Turners great website forum community to go check them out um, also if you haven't seen the sawdustzone.com that's another great resource for a lot of good um, woodworking information so thanks again for joining me in my shop and uh, we'll see you for the next video thanks again